So in the previous video I went through doing the basic LSTM and in this video I'm going to be talking about stacking um, LSTMs and what it means to be stateful, right? So there's, let's, let's start off with the, the stacking part. So in my previous video I, I said um, well in, we only had one layer, we had this hidden layer and the cell memory going on to the next one but at the end um, I just output uh, really one thing and that was the after this section of 10 sets of LSTMs I s I'll put 32 hidden uh, things and that was it that that went through right and this 32 got fed into one last hidden layer a normal hidden layer right just just uh, a 32 by 1 and that was what got fed into my Y well got compared against my Y right this time um, well, with normal um, what, do you, what do you say neural networks, you can stack these nodes, right? So I can have my input layer going in x's, whatever they are, and then I can have these hidden layers themselves just just getting uh, put into more hidden nodes before I chuck everything into one final y value. Right, so my final Y value. You can do the same thing with LSTMs as well, right? So or any other recursive neural network. So in order to do that, uh, one thing that has to happen is, so we have our things here, our X's, right, going in as usual. But I also need this hidden layer to go up. So if I go back up here, the only thing that happened, if you look at this, the hidden layer just kept going forward. Okay, it didn't give me, so the final uh, function call didn't give me these hidden values. And in order for me to stack them, I need to know what these hidden values are. Okay, so I need to feed in these hidden values to the layer above. So it's not the x's that's going on to the, to the layer above anymore, it's just the hidden values. Right, so ht plus 1, so on. Right, so the, like I have, I have just moved it slightly ahead, so it's easy to draw. But essentially, this is what's happening. Okay, so your the hidden layer is going to the one in the front and also to the one forward. Now, why would we do this? So, one way of thinking about it is um, these layers capture different scales. So let, let me show you what I mean by that. So this layer over here might be uh, some sort of periodic function like this. This one over here might be a faster periodic scale okay so the hidden the hidden layers essentially capture different scales that's one way of thinking about it right so it, there can be a lot more complicated things happening depending on what kind of recursive neural network you're using so L LSTM is just one example there is another one called gate and gated recur recursive units right and so on and so forth but essentially for me to stack them up I need to return return the hidden layers so let me just let me just uh, go back to my code. Uh, so in this in this scenario, uh, see how I say return sequences equals true. That's that's what's that's what's sending up the hidden layer. Um, so in in this case, I've stacked stacked up two uh, two hidden layers, right? So exactly what I've shown in the diagram. And I've also got this stateful equals true. But just before we go into the stateful LSTMs, just notice how I've only said return sequence equals true in one layer. That's returning the hidden layers to the to the layer above. Okay. Don't worry too much about this dropout thing. You can ignore it if you want to altogether. But as far as LSTMs are concerned, this is the this is the main part when it comes to stacking. Right. Now let's go on to what what it means to be stateful. So. So far, I've said um, I'm using 10, 10 inputs and then feeding that into my Y11, right? So something, some function happens here and that gets fed into my Y11, right? The problem with, the problem with this 10 is that what, what I'm essentially saying is that my memory cannot last for longer than 10. Okay, so if there's a pattern, if there's some sort of pattern that goes like this, at the 11th time, 
right? It won't pick that pattern up. Because the thing is, the maximum I can look back behind is 10, 10 time steps. Okay, so it won't go beyond 10. Okay, so the reason that you do that is because the um, back propagation can, should only go back 10 steps, right? So that's, that's really the reason why we, well, this, there's this parameter called look back when you look at my uh, notebook. But there's this small way around it. It's, it, it's, it's, um, it's somewhat of a compromise, right? And that's where stateful LSTMs come in. So what does stateful LSTM say? So when you're training it normally, um, every time you send in a batch of 10, it forgets about the memory that I had before. So the C, the cell memory that I had from XT minus one, or rather I should be saying from the previous LSTM cell, it gets erased. Okay, so as soon as I say stateful equals true, in that case, it remembers the last cell cell state that I looked up. Okay, so, and that gets fed in. Now, one disadvantage of doing this is that you have to make sure that the sequences cannot be mixed up. So what do I mean by that? So previously, when I took a batch of 10 and fed in Y, I can take any batch of 10. So I could take X1 to X10, feed that to Y11, X101 um, to X111, feed that into Y112, and so on. I can mix these up whatever way that I want to. But now, as soon as I say stateful, stateful equals three is true, I need to remember the, the last state, the cell state, right? So in that case, I cannot mix and match. So if I took x1 to x10, then the next one cannot be this thing. It has to be x11 to x21. It has to be that batch. Okay, so, and then that gets fed into y22, right? Because the, the hidden cell state from what we get from here has to be fed into here okay so so there's some sort of memory that you will, or rather information that flows from the last training batch into this thing okay so i can't i can't i, I can't uh, just mix these things up it has um so let, let me just just go back into my code and show you what i'm what I mean here, okay, so stateful equals true, you must make sure the stateful equals true for all the uh, stack, if you if you stack them, you must make sure that it's stacked all the way through. All right, so let's let's just go up. Uh, now, let me see. So when we're training, yeah, so shuffle equals false. Okay, so you cannot shuffle the training examples in this case, and therefore we're using a for, a for loop, okay? So, in here, what, what am I doing? So the training sets are getting trained over here. Shuffle is, is false. Now, as soon as you finished that, because keep in mind, um, because I said stateful equals true, it keeps the last state, right? So once I get right down to the end, so if there's a thousand training samples, when I get right down to the thousandth one, it's going to try and keep that cell state. And if you don't say model reset equals states, the thousandth one will get fed back right back into the first one, okay? And you don't want that because the thousand the thousandth example has nothing to do with the first example, right? So in that case, you must reset that that uh, reset the memory, set it all the way back to zero, and then start training. So this thing over here is training all those thousand examples, um, but but going in one direction, okay? So going from one to ten, eleven to twenty, and so on, right? And that's that's what it means to be stateful. So it has, you can have better um, uh, a better outcome than this thing. So in this in this case, we we do get a better thing than what I had before. So this is what I had before, and as soon as I stack it and make sure that st the stateful is true. Um, oh, sorry, ignore that. It it so we can start to see the shape that we actually want. It, so it is it is um, lagging a bit behind, but that's okay. So when we when we stack it a bit deeper, you'll start to see that the phase the phase disappears. Okay. Uh, now just to just lastly just to show you, uh, if I if I didn't do any 
LSTMs, right? So any recursive neural net for that matter, this is the kind of shape that I get. So you can see the pattern going happening, but it's starting to die down. Okay, so when we go go a long way beyond this, it'll die down to zero, okay, which is what we don't want. Um, so yeah, so that is LSTMs. So please go and check out the, the notebook. Hopefully things do make sense. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and please do subscribe. Thank you.